for future folks, uh, musicians watching this in the future, maybe the top couple of things that you would recommend for whether a drummer or any musician to be able to have in their toolbox, uh, as well as those skills, whether it's chops, whether it's networking connections, what are those top things that a musician needs to know and to have? Um, that's a good question. It's, it's a hard, you know, it's a hard question. I mean, I think part of, you know, being a teacher is I try to evaluate each person and see maybe how I think I might be able to help them, you know? Um, but I think, uh, number one thing is, you know, just try to have fun and love doing this. I mean, it's supposed to be fun and it should be fun. So never forget, try not to lose sight of the, the enjoyment of playing what you love to play, you know? Um, Make sure that you spend time, you know, that you have a nice feel when you play a groove. I mean, that's 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 everything for us, you know. Um, don't you know? Don't judge music that is simple and and ignore playing it out. Right. And then, uh, you know, I'm I'm a big fan and believer of working on different styles and, and trying to make yourself more employable. Mm. Um, but I, I will also work on them because I enjoy them, you know. Yeah. So yeah, uh, and then. Um, yeah, like like you know, Sean Pelton's uh, Modern Drummer Clinic. He he unveiled his clipboard and was like, "Don't be a jerk." Right. Except he didn't use the word jerk, but yeah, I'm happy. yeah. Um, you know, you, you do you do have to be a good hang. Um, Absolutely. And uh, that's not always an easy thing to learn, but but you can you can get, be given advice on it. You can so yeah, I think. Uh, and you know what? If you're unsure, seek out a teacher. Right. You know. Right. I mean. Steve Smith and Neil Peart took lessons.